With your first news at 6 Sports, here's J.T. Farabo. One of the best girls soccer teams in the West region is one you wouldn't expect this season. After not registering a single loss in their eight conference games, Mandan's girls soccer team claims this week's sports spotlight. It's a good sign if your team is still practicing after the school year has finished. With the state tournament starting tomorrow, Mandan's girls soccer team is one of the eight teams still standing. You know, last year we lost 11 seniors, um, not just 11 seniors, but seven of those were in the starting 11. So this year we've got a very young team. So honestly, I wasn't quite sure which, which way things were going to go coming into the season, but the kids have dug in. Um, they've done a fantastic job. In eight West Region Conference games this season, the Braves have scored an impressive 27 goals while only conceding two in that same amount of time. Trent Niebachen is a senior defender for the team. This past week, she was named West Region Senior Athlete of the Year. We had a, a lot of new girls come up this year, a lot of freshmen that have really stepped up into new roles. And um, just in the off season, we did a lot of team bonding and open gyms, and it really helped. We have a, a veteran back line and some really hardworking midfielders that really make the job go smoother for the back line. And I mean, we're just sound, and we've got a really good keeper too. Just confident, and the chemistry is really good. So, the Braves playing in the state tournament used to be a rare thing. Now it's something they hope becomes the new normal. You know, Mandan has always struggled on, in terms of soccer. In fact, this is the only fifth time that the girls' soccer team has has gone to state um, since the history. So, this is the third year in a row. So, I think I think the mindset is kind of shifting a little bit. More kids are playing the game year round, um, which has never been the case in the last. 20 years on this side of the river. I think there's more kids shifting to playing the game more often, and that's just definitely making a difference. You can see the difference. We're so excited. We're excited for another chance at a state title. Um, our first in program history, if we get it, you know. And uh, we've been doing better every single year since we went, and we're just excited. Make our community proud, hopefully. When asked if she had any last thing to say, Mandan's captain said this. I don't know, go Braves. <laughs> The Braves take on Shanley tomorrow in the state corner finals. Tomorrow is the start of a fun, crazy, and exciting stretch of state tournaments for high school sports. Here's a look at the matchups for each tournament. Number one seed from the east is, is Davies, and they'll take on Jamestown. They'll face the winner between Bismarck and Cheyenne. Minot is the one seed from the west, and they'll face Grand Forks Red. Red River Central, not Red River, just Grand Fork Central. In a Class A ba baseball, Legacy takes the number one seed from the East, and the Patriots will face the Mustangs. The Braves are the number one seed from the West, and they take on Fargo North. In Class B baseball, the number two Cardinals draw the Lakers, and Shiloh takes on the Lobos. The number one seed Thompson will face Bishop Ryan, while Central Cass and North Star square off. In Class A softball, Minot is the number one seed from the West, while Jamestown takes on Red River. The Midgets, they'll take on the Mustangs, which is followed by the Packers against the Patriots. In Class B softball, the number two seed Mavericks face the Tommies, followed by the Vikings against the Cougars. Beulah is the number one seed, and they face off against Delax Burlington. All right, we got it all in. It's going to be a great time. Yes, we'll be is. right back after this.